One of the biggest questions I've got that comes up is, are there time limits that the IRS can collect on you? Uh, I'm going to be going over this and a few other things on how that, that works. Also, if you get a chance, if you are interested in legally getting your income taxes down to zero, how to get a second passport in as quick as 45 days, do three things. Hit the subscribe button the right of your screen right here, and you get new videos automatically as they come out. And don't forget to hit that notification bell next to that subscribe button. And I would like to hear from you. If you got a question or comment, just put it below. And also, uh, if you want to learn more, go to our website, www.citizenshipquickly.com. All right, now, usually the IRS has 10 years to collect money that you owe. Uh, this is one of the things, the main thing I'm going to hit on with you today. Uh, when you owe money to the IRS, uh, you know, are you on the hook forever? This is the big key. Fortunately, the answer is usually no. Uh, as a general rule, uh, there's a 10-year statute of limitation on IRS uh, collections. This means that the IRS can attempt to collect uh, your unpaid taxes for up to 10 years from the date that they were assessed. Now, subject to some important exceptions, once the 10 years uh, are up, the IRS has to stop its collection efforts. Now, every year the statute of limitation expires for thousands of taxpayers who owe uh, the IRS money. Now, if your collection statute uh, expiration date, also called the CSED, is near the IRS, uh, uh, the, the IRS may aggressively uh, uh, try to go after you to, to get you to pay as much as possible for that deadline or, uh, or, or agree to extend it. Now, obviously, uh, it's usually going to be a big mistake, folks, to ever try to extend something like that. For, for, uh, as far as uh, uh, good for you, it's never going to be. I can't see where that would be good for you in, in any means. But the IRS has been known many times to try to get you to extend that. Now, when does the limitations period begin? Now, the 10-year limitations period begins to run on the uh, uh, date that the tax was uh, actually assessed. Uh, now, this is the date an uh, IRS official signs the applicable form at an IRS service center. Uh, now, uh, you want to be careful with these dates uh, and, and how they work and what's being sent to you and how you uh, apply and work with the IRS on this. Um, but uh, this is the date an IRS official signs the applicable form at an IRS service center. For example, if you don't if you don't pay in full when you file your tax return, you receive what's called a written notice of the amount that you owe, uh, which is a bill. And the date on this bill starts the 10 year limitations period. Uh, if you did not file a tax return, the IRS can create a substitute return for you and make a deficiency. Uh, assessment which uh, starts the 10 year period. Now, thus not file a return and hiding for 10 years uh, uh, usually accomplishes nothing on this. But now, uh, I, I do disagree with some of the stuff that he, he does have in here, which I'm going to go over that near the end. Uh, suspension of limitations period, let's talk about that. Now, the 10 year collection period can end up lasting more than 10 years because it can be suspended for one or more time periods. The, time, the uh, time during which the statute of limitations is suspended is not counted uh, towards the 10-year deadline. Uh, let me give you an example. Uh, the collections period will be suspended during time periods the IRS is legally barred from taking collection action against you. This means that the limitations period is suspended if you file for bankruptcy and the bankruptcy court issues an automatic stay preventing the IRS from taking uh, uh, collection action against you. The suspension lasts for the period of the bankruptcy, uh, case plus six months. Now, the period is also suspended while the IRS is considering your request for an installment agreement, offering a compromise, or request for innocent spouse relief, or while you live outside the U.S. continuously for at least six months. Now, the IRS also can extend the 10-year period by suing you in federal court, although this usually doesn't happen. Uh, now, w one thing I disagree with him on this, and I've had quite a few people I've, I've talked to that and we've had clients on this too. Uh, he says that the period, and, and he could be right on this, but we've experienced the, the opposite, um, is that if, if you're outside the U.S., the time period stops on the 10-year period. We've had people that I've talked to that we've actually worked with, okay, that their, uh, their time period actually, uh, you know, expired. Uh, in other words, their, their, the lien expired uh, on their um uh, that the IRS had on. I mean, we actually talked to the people. It was right on the dot 10 years where the expiration occurred. 
uh, and they were outside most of the time, uh, you know, while this was going on of the U.S. Now, voluntarily extending the limitations period, let's talk about that. Now, the 10-year limitations period is not absolute. It can be extended if you voluntarily agree to do so. Uh, back in the uh, old days of 1998, they were talking about the IRS used to put enormous pressure on taxpayers to extend the, uh, to agree to extend the limitations period beyond 10 years. Uh, such extensions often uh, lasted for 10 or even 20 years. If the taxpayer refused to voluntarily agree to the extension, the IRS would make threats. Now, fortunately, they don't do this anymore. The 1990s was probably the worst time period in probably IRS history. They, they were doing all, I think when this Patriot Act came out too, uh, that really, uh, that was, uh, it was pretty bad back then too. Uh, but, uh, you know, that was back, of course, in uh, 2001 when that occurred. Uh, but I'd say anywhere from the latter part of the 1990s when the Patriot Act came out, it got to be really bad. Uh, now, however, if you enter into an installment agreement with the IRS allowing for partial payment of the amount due, you're likely to have to sign a form waiver in the 10-year limitations period. But this extension can uh, be uh, you know, more than uh, six years. In fact, uh, if your limitation period is nearing its end and you're, st you're still the IRS uh, Substantial money. The IRS personnel may offer you an installment agreement with attractive terms to get you to uh, to extend the collection deadline. Now, consider carefully before agreeing to any sort of extension. You may be better off, uh, uh, you know, uh, refusing to extend the deadline and let the IRS collect whatever they can collect before it runs out. Anyway, folks, if you want to learn more on this, if you'll go to our website www.citizenshipquickly.com. Uh, and if you want to legally get your income taxes to zero, how to get a second passport as quick as 45 days. Also, uh, if you want more videos as they come out automatically, hit the subscribe button on the right of your screen right here and you get new videos as they come out. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. And I would like to hear from you. If you've got a question or comment, just put it below and I look forward to talking to you on the next video. Take care.